It's your brothers and sisters in Christ. Uh, greeting, you know, from Haiti. And needed to take time today, you know, to update you about the crisis, okay, that we face right now at uh, the One Vision orphanage and all over Haiti. Um, a lot of unrest situation and because um, people, you know, are really mad. Uh, our Haiti is uh, socially, politically, and many of them, you know, claim, you know, for the president to resign and uh, leave the country. So, because of those uh, conditions, you know, the civilians um, uh, are not able to travel, even us at the orphanage, to get food, um, um, to travel, to buy, that means gas shortage. There's no gas, there's, there's nothing. That means it's really impossible, even, you know, if you want to, to cook food at the orphanage, there's no propane. And... Um, but kids and staff uh, at the orphanage, women staff, and are safe. They are safe, and uh, and uh, they ask me, you know, to greet you all in the name of God, and uh, and we continue asking for prayers and uh, for your partnership uh, to continue standing, okay, with us because. Um, in these situations, only God knows how to resolve, you know, what's going on in Haiti. And with your prayers, your continue, continuous prayers, you know, we hope, you know, that um, God will help us, you know, uh, to find a way, you know, to, to, to better care, you know, for, for, for not only for the orphanage, but for the whole Haiti. Um, thank you for everything and may God bless you all. And please... Be in prayer, you know, for us. Be in prayer for God to empower us, to empower, you know, the kids to, because they are not able, you know, to go to school since, you know, school opening. Please be in prayer for us. May God bless you and peace be with you.